Welcome back for part 2 on the history of the Cocker Dogs in America also known or referred to as the AC Line. We would like to give a friendly reminder this video is solely for the purpose of giving the history of these dogs since they have arrived in America. In part 1 we shared the real pedigrees for the dogs that we own as they came directly from the breeders. We also shared the hung pedigrees that were put on them before we purchased them by CE in the following series we will share more of the same. For those who are not aware we own every single cocker import in America with the exception of one male. We have DNA profiles all of our dogs to help straighten out the hung pedigrees on dogs that were sold by C. E. and his partners. In this video we will touch base on Jesse Hodges A. K. A. The Terrier Club and the dogs that he owns which claim to have cocker ancestry in them. We will also briefly touch base on his fly-by-night registry which is called Nationwide Houndsman Registry. Jesse is a A-man that is very dangerous to working dogs in general. He played a very large role in greyhound racing becoming illegal in Florida. Jesse somehow thought that he should be a spokesperson for the working dog community after catching felony animal abuse charges and he created the Nationwide Houndsman Group. He attempted to step in and fight against the activists that were against greyhound racing in Florida. However this backfired greatly for the working dog community. Once these activists realized that he was involved and had so many felony charges for animal abuse they demanded that the racing community disowned him which the racing community immediately did. But the damage was already done it was too late and the activists were able to secure a significant amount of money to fight against greyhound racing simply because of Jesse's involvement. They argued that this is proof the animal abusers are a part of greyhound racing. An article to this will be left in the comment section. Due to the multiple felony charges of animal abuse Jesse Hodges is not fit to be a representative of any working dog communities and he is a threat to the security of the sports and work that we love. Before we knew who Jesse was he contacted us in hopes of getting some dogs off of Bones a dog that we own that we will share a video on at a later point in time. I recall him calling and his first comment was a sly one as he said he intended to buy me out of all of the Bones blood that I owned. Interesting enough because Jesse Hodges is not a successful man when it comes to finances. But I let him know that I had semen off of bones however I did not run that blood any longer as I found that the other stuff that I have in my possession was better. Which led him to ask about the other dogs that I have. He wanted to purchase some of the cocker dogs that I have and I told him that we do not sell dogs especially to people who intend to take them and breed them to sell them for money. Later on a couple weeks down the road however we would help him correct pedigrees on one dog that he has that does indeed have part cocker blood. This was a terrible idea on our behalf as this started an all-out war that continues with Jesse slandering us and making up lies to this day. The dog we were talking about is Roach's Penny. At the time Jesse had her listed as Cocker's Penny as Jesse like so many other people and these dogs have a fixation on the Cocker name. When we informed him that the pedigree was incorrect that is what upset him. However if you take a look now you will see that he has changed the name to the proper name. Penny is off of a dog named Toby. Toby is a dog that has some cocker blood in him. As he was off of Parts Harry and out of Pars Susie. Who are both said to be off the cocker's end dog. Toby is a dog that is highly respected as a worker however it has always been said that he was never a good producer. According to Penny's breeder Penny's entire litter was culled as they were not the grade of terriers that he likes to keep. We will do another video in the future going deeper into Penny. Because Jesse owned this female really Tommy Weaver owned her but he was looking far and wide for another pure cocker dog to breed to this Penny and here is where he went wrong as have several others in these dogs. As the saying goes some people will tell you what you want to hear. At some point in time Jesse purchased some dogs from CE one of the dogs was claimed to be directly off of Cocker's Jack and Tan. He also purchased a dog from CE that was said to be off of two littermates that came off of Jack and Tan. Pictured here are their pedigrees as he has them on his website and inside his nationwide houndsman registry. When these dogs first came onto the scene and people naturally reached out to us to ask about them we told everyone the truth those are paper hung dogs. As always whenever we say something we have evidence. We might not share it right away but we have plenty of evidence. As you can see here in an email directly from Alan Cocker himself you will see that we were correct when we said those were paper hung dogs that likely do not have any Cocker blood in them at all. The last breeding that was done with Jack and Tan was done 13 years ago according to Alan in this email and none of those dogs were ever sent to America. 
very interesting the dog that he is claiming off of Jack and Tan looks to be no older than 5 years old or that dog has found the fountain of youth and is really 13 years of age. This is why when people reach out to us telling us that they got dogs from the source we let them know that the dogs are not bred the way that they are claimed to be bred and we have no interest in crossing our dogs with God knows what is in the dogs that they have. 9 times out of 10 those dogs are Ken Gould crosses. We have spent a lot of money and time DNA profiling all of our dogs after having ironed out the proper pedigrees for them. Unfortunately this is not the only place that has paper hung cocker dogs. There are also dogs out west that claim to be off of dogs that we own that we have even more evidence that they are not bred as claimed when they were sold. Because we're honest and fair people chances are Jesse Hodges really believe that he got his hands on some legit cocker dogs. For Jesse Hodges does not know that much about terriers, he doesn't know much about the work that they do, or the legit history behind them. But like many people he only wanted to hear what he wanted to hear. And he did not want to hear the unequivocal fact that those dogs are not cocker dogs and their pedigrees are 100% inaccurate. As are other so-called cocker dogs in America. One thing about it is when you chase a name you become an easy person to fool in this game. We never chased the cocker name we just looked for dogs that worked and purchased what was available to us at the time the names in front of the dogs meant nothing to us. It just so happens to be that this family of dog is very consistent and this is how we ended up with the imports that we have. If you are seeking cocker dogs in America or overseas you run a high risk of being scammed unless you get them from very specific sources. Well until the next time we slap them with the truth, just keep in mind that is 3XO and workers are more important than names.